Uh, my name is Ed Creighton. Uh, I've been a volunteer out here for many, many years here at Heritage Village. It used to be called Sharon Woods Village when I first started. Uh, basically, we're standing here in the Gatch Barn. The Gatch Barn was on the east side, it was originally located and built on the east side of uh, Cincinnati in the Milford, uh, what we call uh, Milford area. The barn, of course, when you build a barn like this, uh, you have to select the type of wood. Usually you got the wood off the property. This is just a uh, usually probably held uh, hay mostly. That's why these are called hay mounds on either side. A hay mound is basically you would bring it in, you would mound it up you, because you didn't have bales. You'd, bail, you'd mound it up and then when you had to get it out you actually had a hay knife that you would actually saw it out and you could feed the animals. The reason it was definitely not for animals is we have the wooden floor. Wooden floor and animals, uh, with animals, the floor would rot. Also, now you have to remember, uh, most of this wood in this barn is actually walnut. Walnut was one of the straightest growing here in Southwest Ohio, and it was very easy to use because we had lots of it, had large pieces. The, of course, the tree is round. If you notice here, very important. You have to take a round tree and you have to make it rectangular or square. So what they did is they actually took an, an axe and went chop, chop, chop and did it in these short increments and that way they could take a broad axe and actually split in between these two parts, thus making it a flat surface and they just did it all the way around so it was actually done that way. This is actually a very unique beam and this was basically for thrashing. The reason for that uh, you could bring your animals in, it was on both sides, they had it, but that was so that you could actually, if you had this stacked with uh, wheat, you could thrash it, or you could also grind it. So it was made so you could have a horse come in here, uh, or an oxen. You could then take a, uh, some kind of grain grinder, and the horse could walk around in here unimpeded by anything. That's why. You know, a lot of times barns have supports here, but this was made so a horse could, or oxen could walk around turning the grist mill. So, like I said, the gatch barn is important. Uh, on the east side of town, there are a lot of gatches, and the gatches absolutely all know it, and they come out here to see it. Uh, it was relocated uh, in the 70s when the Heritage Village, or actually at the time it was Sharon Woods Village, was being put up. Uh, part of South, historic Southwest Ohio, and so it was brought here to preserve it, making it available for future generations to know why.